Welcome to another unit in this methodology toolbox. This time I'm going to talk about the difference between cross-sections, cross-sectional analysis, time series, longitudinal data, and panel data. To differentiate the three approaches, the difference between a cross-sectional time series and panel study can easily be done if we differentiate our approaches according to how many points in time do we consider, how many cross-sections or observations do we consider. With the classical cross-sectional design, we have one single point in time, but multiple objects of observation. So, for example, the classical survey. The people are surveyed, or given a questionnaire, more or less at almost the same point in time, but we have different people which we consider. Same thing if for one year we collect data for different countries. That's one point in time, this specific year, and so multiple objects of observations, multiple countries which we consider. However, we could also do this slightly differently. We could consider time series. In this case, we have multiple points in time, but in a classical time series, only one object of observation. So for example, in this context, we can consider a single country, let's say for example, the US, and then study how the US over different years develops regarding, for example, inflation rates. That's one point of observation, the US, different points in time, all the years we consider. Then, well, if we have those 1 and n and n and 1 combinations, we can also combine these two perspectives. We can have multiple points in time for multiple objects of observation. Consider like all the EU countries for the last 20 years. That would be a panel. Well, summarizing this, if you work with cross-sectional data, that's the classical survey data. This gives a good idea, but the problem with cross-sectional data is it's only one point in time. You do not know how any developments lay out. It's absolutely impossible to determine any effects from one variable on another. The only thing you could do in a cross-sectional study might be correlations. In a longitudinal study, well, you have at least time dependencies. You see whether effects in the past might correlate with effects in the present. But the problem here would be you're only having like one observation. So you can only wager a guess for this particular observation. So if we're working only with data for the US, we can only actually do a prognosis for the US, not for any country. If we work with a panel, we actually have much more potential to go there. The problem, however, is if we work with a panel and we want to work with it decently, it's pretty hard to collect all these points in time for all the observations. And it also should be a similar observation each time. So if country borders, for example, change, or one of the people in our panel, if we work with actual people, drops out and we have to replace him, we have to assure it's exactly the same, more or less, behavior pattern underlying all of this than in the one before. So panels might give the best results, but they're pretty hard to come by. Well, with those concluding words, we are at the end of this session. So I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll say goodbye and see you next time.